Got all the pieces scotch brighted. They're all cleaned. These are the insides of everything. See, this is the outsides all taped off. We're just back in the, the bottom and the insides of the doors and stuff like that black. So, I'm going to go squirt some black on that. Okay. Alright guys, I'm back. I got the underneath all back masked black. Got the underneath all painted black now. It's all dry, came out good. So, uh, I'll be peeling that tape off and taping it the opposite way now. Here's the uh, insides of the doors, the windshield, and I also did the door panels. For some reason, the whole interior is pre painted black. But the front door panels are the only door panels they give you to install. The the backs you just the back doors don't open, so you don't get rear door panels. And um, but yeah, so the the front door panels were the only things that were molded in like this kind of gray plastic. See, this isn't. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but it's actually like a gray. It's not exactly black. And that's the same color the door panels were so and then and like I said the interior comes pre-painted flat black you know and then the door panels are off so I just painted the door panels just so they would match the rest of the interior so I'm gonna get to work uh, pulling all this tape off and reversing the process so I can take uh, paint the outside and um, I'm not going to make you guys watch that. I'm not even going to record it and speed it up because it's tape. <laughs> Alright, so I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Thanks. Okay guys, so I'm back. Um, I went ahead and we back masked everything we painted black and it went to paint and it's back from paint and you can't even tell uh, after the last one I, I didn't want to go too crazy uh, kind of discouraged me from painting it, it took a little bit to get me to actually paint this I, I almost didn't paint it um, after watching I don't know if any of you guys watch Kingston RC's videos um, he's a great guy he makes great videos He's built a couple of these extra speed Jeeps. Uh, he, he's on his second one, I believe, now. Um, but he does a thing with... He says he uses really fine steel wool. And just kind of goes over it. And it takes that... You know, that molded plastic shiny sheen off of it. And then uh, he kind of weathered it with some black wash. And I think his look really good. Um, so I almost did that. But... I don't know, I, I just, I decided to go with paint. Um, I didn't want to paint it a different color because, again, after the last one, I didn't want to run into any issues. I also didn't want to, you know, get any r scratches on it and then show through and have a red scratch. You know, I didn't want to paint it the khaki color, get a scratch on it, and it show a red scratch. Um, so what we what I opted to do was... I used, I scotch brighted the whole thing like we did the axial body. Uh, I went over it with a, uh, where'd it go? I used this here, red scotch bright pad. I go over that thing to scuff it, um, give the body some texture, some grain for the paint to stick to. And then from there, I used, you know, pretty much the closest red I could get to the actual 
body color. Um, I would normally never buy a red vehicle. Um, like I said about the uh, axial body, I, I painted it khaki because I'm not a red guy, you know. But I couldn't get the yellow one. I couldn't get the white one. They're both on back order. Uh, the only one that was available at the time I ordered was this red one. And the whole time it was on its way, I had... My plan was to paint it khaki. I, that's that's what I was going to do. And then, after the issues I had with the axial body, and being worried about it getting scratches and showing through and seeing the red, I just I just opted to do red. Um, it was just the lesser of, of the evils, you know. Um, but I used Rust-Oleum paint. We used a satin apple red. I did go with satin just because, you know, just to knock the gloss off of it. It's still got a little bit of a sheen to it, but at least it looks like it's painted and it doesn't look like molded plastic anymore. So, I'm happy about that. And then we went over the whole thing with uh, a matte clear. Uh, and this is just regular Rust-Oleum paint. It's called, a, you know, uh, American Accents says also bonds to plastic but believe it or not this is what I've used on most of my bodies um, and I always have great success with it I painted this body this is a, uh, a pro line Chevy blazer body That's got a, uh, you know, like a molded interior in it, and it comes with this roll cage. But I painted this thing black. I, I can't even remember how long ago. But, I mean, you can see it's flexing, and it, it holds on there perfect. You know, it used to have, I molded on a uh, cow induction hood. You know, I, I like molded a scoop on here to cover the body holes, or the body pin holes, and, um, my daughter thought one day it would be a good idea to pick the truck up by the hood scoop. So that got ripped off and I started sanding it smooth. I was going to paint it and fix it and um, just kind of opted for another body at the time. This was kind of old and beat and seen better days. So but yeah, so I painted that with Rust-Oleum. I've painted lots of other bodies with Rust-Oleum. Uh, it's always worked really well for me. It didn't melt the plastic. It flexed fine with the plastic. Uh, the axial body was like one of the first things I painted and actually used Lexan paints for it. And you see where it got me. So when I painted this, I went back to Old Faithful and I used Rust-Oleum paints on it. And it's awesome. It dried to the touch within an hour it looks great uh, I mean it came out awesome I'm, I'm real happy with it nice and smooth no runs no no end you know really didn't get any imperfections in the paint uh, I think it's this door you're looking at now and you can see like right here there's like a you know some airborne flake landed in my paint. Nothing I could really do about it. Uh, so, whatever. But, if that's like the worst of my problems, I'm good with that. I, I can live with that. See, it, it's still got a little bit of a sheen to it. But like I said, it, it doesn't look like molded plastic anymore. It's painted now. This back door is just kind of sitting on there. I didn't, you know, push it into place yet. I did tape off the fuel door. But then I opted to just paint the rear hinges. I will go back over them with some black and a brush. Uh, I just figured it was easier to just go ahead and, and paint over them to, than to try to tape all that. You know, I figured there was no way I was going to tape completely around them things. 
clean enough. So I, I just painted them and we'll repaint them black eventually. Um, take this door off. As far as the interior goes, as you can see, got my hole patched up and painted black. So I'm good with that. Something I want to ask you guys. I'm kind of struggling with this. I can't make up my mind. Uh, I like all the flat black accents on it. What I'm thinking about doing is painting the hood red. Or the hood scoop red. Maybe tape off the vents so they stay black. Or maybe just paint them all and paint these silver. You know, at a later date. Uh, but, you know, rather than having a molded on hood scoop why not paint it red and make it look like it's a custom hood that was painted to match the truck right so that's something I'm up in the air maybe let me know what you guys think in the comments should I leave it flat black or paint it red to match let me know what you guys think so there it is guys that's what we got so far um, it's painted I'll catch up with you guys soon. We're going to start getting on some details. And like I said, we're going to do full styrene wheel wells and floors for this. So I'm looking forward to that. I like doing that kind of stuff. And I look forward to showing you guys. So definitely stay tuned. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Take care. And thank you for all the views on that last video. Awesome. Really appreciate it. And all the comments are awesome, too. I really enjoy talking to you guys. It's, it's cool. So, definitely keep that up. I appreciate it. Highly enjoy it. Um, so, yeah. I'm out of here. Catch you on the next one, guys. Have a great day.